Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today, we're gonna be doing a uh, analysis of some of my best games on the 3000 Stu Push. Push took a lot of effort, winning up to 45 minutes per game. So it would mean a lot to me if you could drop a like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. And yeah, let's cop straight into the games. So before we hop into the analysis of the games, I wanna just tell you guys some of the best maps and modes for Stu, best players to play against, some of the hardest counters. Basically, for the best maps for Stu, you can basically pick any map, any mode besides Bounty and Knockout. Those are definitely some of Stu's worst modes. Basically, every other mode in the game besides maybe Safe Zone is definitely a perfect map for Stu. So you can pick any map from Hard Rock Mine, which is a perfect map for Stu. Easy place to put a Stu turret and play with, with 8-bit, a nice synergy with 8-bit. You can play it on any showdown map. Every single one's perfect besides maybe Cavern Churn. That's a pretty bad one. Play it on hot potato you can play it as a nice lane and break some walls and counter throwers you can counter tanks with Stu. play it on pit stop for the same reason you can play it on not shooting star not any bounty maps not a good idea you can play it on backyard bowl to counter sprout you can play it on backyard bowl as a tank play it with like a poco or something play it on triple dribble sneaky fields pretty easy maps to play Stu. simple uh you can play it on any siege map pick up the bolts be a nice dashing assassin grab all the bolts and kill the throwers. You can play on any hot zone map, perfect with the stew turret or wall break, depending on map, like split for wall break or dueling and ring of fire for the speed turret in the mid. And yeah, knockout's not a good map. Basically, yeah, every map and mode besides knockout and bounty is a perfect place to play stew. It's definitely some of stew's hardest counters. Are def Spike, Tara, Crow, uh, Ruffs, any spawner such as Nita, Jesse, Pam, anything with basically anything to block a stew shot, which is only a one, one line shot, not a pierce. Any thrower until a stew gets a super or a wall break, then the thrower does not counter the stew. But before a stew gets a super, it is definitely a hard counter a thrower. Obviously, Grom, a hard counter. Mr. P is a very good counter. Anything spawner, anything that can shoot over walls and not get hit by the stew. Any long range like Piper, Brock, Fire, and Bell, if they keep distance from the stew, the stew's gonna be basically useless. And yeah, so anything spawner, anything with a nice gadget that can block from stew shots or any long range is gonna be a good counter to stew. And some of stew's best matchups are gonna be tanks such as Buzz, Daryl, Bull. Uh, Lola's a good matchup for stew. 8 bit's a pretty good matchup for stew. Uh, Gene, Shelly, Sandy, any mid-range brawler that doesn't have a spawner is going to be a pretty easy matchup for Stu. Any tank that Stu can just dash around and not get hit. Any thrower, if Stu has a wall break, can be an easily good matchup. Uh, an Amber, a Colette, those are also pretty good matchups, but those brawlers are pretty bad, so you don't really see them. But yeah, basically you want to play Stu into tanks and throwers, and you don't want to play into spawners. And yeah, so after that little analysis, maps and modes, and brawler counters, let's just hop straight into the games and see how it went. Let's load into the first game. Uh, it's, uh, I don't really remember the map name, but I spawn top left, get a box. And I see the Surge, he seems like a pretty easy matchup. He's only level seven and super low in power cubes and only one tier up, so he can't really move or anything. Pretty easy matchup. I also see this Byron again, so I'm gonna try and fight him too, maybe if he wants to, but he kind of runs away. So I'm just gonna back up, stay alive. Very important to stay alive these games. I have to win every single game, basically only plus five trophies for a win and up to minus 13 for a loss. So I see this Byron trapped in the corner and I get a shot, and then I get a nice triple dash. He hits me zero times, dash super fast. It's a very clean kill. See this Ash, kind of wanted this, this kill, dash crazy around him like 40 different times. Back up, he pops a gadget, maybe, nope. He doesn't pop a gadget, but the spike attacks me, so I have to back up, don't really want to fight him. See that I'm triple pinned, so I kind of have to go for a kill here, and I run the spike, kind of kill him. He doesn't even have the cactus gadget, so he kind of just dies there. And yeah, that's two free cubes, nice for me. Gonna go back to the Surge, I see him right here. Kinda hits me twice, so I back up, use a super. And I think there's a buzz there. I'm pretty sure I saw a buzz kill on the top right, so, or top left, so I made sure not to go there. Uh, cautions were right, and yeah, I hit him right there. Get my super, go for the Surge. End up killing him here, then the bull charges on me. Kind of trapped, but he runs away. He's a little bit scared. Buzz misses, misses a super. Buzz gadgets to the wall to run away. And yeah, I have control of this mid. But they both end up teaming on me, so that's pretty toxic. They both spin and 
try and kill me, so I have to 1v2. I get a nice few shots on the buzz, juke a few shots, back up, and then the bull attacks me. They're both trying to double team me, I kill the buzz. And then the bull's gonna try and super me, so I just or attack me, so I just dash right around him like 40 different times, and then I kill him. And yeah, that was a nice win. Let's hop into the next game. Well, in the next game, I see a Griff. I try and spin with him just so I can uh, backstab. That was my favorite thing to do this push, just spin with people and instantly backstab them. It's pretty nice. Get a nice amount of two boxes here. I get my super back here, a nice shot. See a free Edgar kill, try and get him, but he's uh, got supers and backs up. Get a few cubes here. Get a nice peek on the surge, gonna kill him. And then there's a Jesse here. Jesse's a pretty easy target for Stu. Stu just kind of uh, runs over her and I had way more cubes. So that's pretty much a free kill for me any day of the week. See this Daryl. So I kind of just kill him right here. And then the surge. And there's another surge, so I try and kill this one. There's so many of them just attacking me. He gets me to one shot, I think, or I just kill him right here, nice. Then there's a surge with TP, so I wait for him to TP, bait out the TP, nice play by me. Definitely would have died if I went for those cubes. So yeah, it's nice to not play too aggressive because sometimes if you play too aggressive and I'm cube hungry, you uh, end up dying. A little bit of BM there, kind of funny. I felt like that was a really sick play, so I just BM'd for fun. Not really toxic, just kind of funny. And then there's just a Griff that's like two cubes, and then I end up just checking a bush and seeing a Lou on the bottom after I just dodged the Griff super. And I walk in, he's right on the left. <laughs> We're just checking the bush and he just dies. So yeah, that was another quick game, super fast. And yeah, let's hop into the next one. All right, load of the next game. This one's on uh, Rockwall Brawl. I spawn bottom and I see a Shelly. So I'm kind of scared of this Shelly. The Shelly runs away, but I end up checking this bush, I think, for a solid. Uh, minute or two see let's just cut until i uh end up playing the game so right here i finally end up taking the box and yeah i finally get to pick up my boxes i was super scared i really don't want to get a uh, bum rush by a shelly then there ends up being a primo right there nice ready to take my box i love getting my box taken by primos it's all right though I'm gonna try and kill him here i think i yeah i kill him here stay alive on one shot very lucky kill i would have died most of the time i kind of got lucky that time there's a jesse up there Gonna just maybe try and fight her, not really sure. A Leon turret. Oh yeah, it seems like half the map is kind of teaming on me, so I'm gonna either have to team with them or get a ton of cubes, which I think I take the route of getting a ton of cubes and killing the entire map until I fight the teamer. So I go for this Jesse, whiff a few shots, peek a wall, and then I just run at her, hit her a few times and she's dead. So yeah, now there's a Leon and two Shelly's teaming, if I'm not mistaken, and then there's a buzz too right there. I think I go for the buzz here. Yeah, but I'm a little scared. Buzz super does frighten me a lot. You get supered by that and basically you're dead 10 times out of 10. So I'm just gonna play it safe. Not really wanna get too aggressive. Just gonna hold my super, stay safe, and wait for the gas to come. I check in this bush, I was scared for everyone. There's always Shelly's with supers you never know. And once the Shelly supers you, you're basically dead. So I'm always scared. The Shelly kills the buzz. Then there's the Leon and the Shelly on the top, pretty sure, yep. And then there's another Shelly on the left bush. So yeah, I'm getting teamed on right now. It's all right though, not really too worried. Just gotta stay alive, be a little bit passive. So Leon puts another turret. I think I break it here. Yep, I end up breaking it. And then I just kill the Leon, nice two shot. And then there's another Shelly over here. I kind of leave this Shelly because the more important cube Shelly with clay pigeons and everything was a lot more scary. So I just kill this one first. And the other one has like, 100 h or like a thousand hp so i just kind of two shot her and then she's dead another nice win even beating all the teamers and yeah that's another win top of the next game all right so hopping to the next game another game of rockwall brawl i spawn top right with a ton of boxes this was a juicy game and there's a level 11 shelly same level as me on the boxes so i kind of just ignore her don't really want to fight her just want to pick up my cubes and then maybe i'll fight her later uh, I spin with her just in case. I kind of want my boxes and then I'll deal with her later. Kind of, I think I backstab her right here. Yeah, I just backstab her. Kind of a free kill. She's two shots. So yeah, I just backstab her. Don't really want to deal with Shelly's later on in the match. And yeah, basically half the lobby's already dead. There's a level 11 Rico right there. A little bit scary, but he only has like two kills. A little scary, just going to back up. Don't really want to get clipped by too many Rico bullets and then super. That's kind of an instant death. Just in here waiting. Then maybe I'll make my play with a wall break, but then I just backed up because I'm a little low. I hit another shot, so I'm just gonna back up even more. And then just chill over here. 
maybe go for a wall break or something if he overcommits, but he doesn't push up. A team with these primos and Daryls, I think I end up backsetting them all later. I just don't really want to die early on to a primo and a bunch of tanks for no reason. So I just go for them later on. And yeah, I back to sub this primo here, kind of catch him out, gonna just four tap him right there. And yeah, there's just two tanks, very low cube. So I ended up just backstabbing this Daryl, like three shotting him and he's already dead. Kill him. And then, yeah, she's basically a free one at this point. Just spinning a little bit. Shelly in the bush kills this Primo. She does have a lot of cubes, so that's a little bit scary. Kind of back up. I wanted to go for the wall break here so bad, but I know well I'm going to get Shelly super and one-shotted, so it's not worth the risk. So I end up just waiting, dashing on the Shelly. Still not going to wall break there. Shelly super instantly going to one-shot me. Not worth it. So I just wait for her to push up because the smoke comes. So I hit her a few times, charge my super. Hit her again here. She's one-shot or two-shot because of band-aid she heals up and now i have a, her in a perfect position to just dash around her dodge every single shot dash four times and yeah that's a free kill another nice win clutch games these are also at like 2900 by the way as you can see by around the trophies and yeah let's have another nice game and cavern churn this game was an insane game i played super well cavern churn was an in horrible map to push i barely gained any on it but i always tried to gain any kind of trophies i could because there was not that much time left in the season at this point. There was around a week left, and I need to get like 200 trophies, which was pretty toxic. So yeah, instantly I get teamed on by two Dynamikes, and I don't know. I really don't want to go left here because there's a Shelly, and if I go mid, there's obviously Shellys in the bush. So I kind of just have to fight these Dynamikes, or just push them back so I can gain position. And yeah, that's kind of what I do. I just hold, use my super, try to push them back. Kind of just wait here, wait for them to push up on me they don't really do they just sit there and wait which is very toxic and yeah i kind of want to go for a wall break play here but i'm really scared of the stun uh dynamite stun obviously and then to kill yeah i just end up waiting here close to mid there's two the two dynamics are both on the top right so i end up going for a wall break play i'm pretty sure after a few seconds yeah they see the ball on the left so i kind of just make a yolo play wall break Get a few hits, waste my super there, so I end up getting really scared, but I got the speed gear. So I can dodge a few shots, go in, and then yeah, I can uh, just get my super, go for a play, just kill them both at the same time, dash like 10 bazillion times, killed both of the dynamics, and then the bull charges at me. So I'm like, what the heck is happening? I dash a few times on him, kill him too. And I'm like, oh my God, how am I in this game? I was dying. And then, yeah, there's just one Shelly left, I think. Actually, there's two. I can wall break her. And then I know there's going to be a Shelly in the bush, so I play and play it safe and wait. And eventually, she just comes running at me and supers me. But I somehow stay alive, kill her with like 1,000 HP left. An insane win on Cameron Churn. Very rare to win these games. And yeah, let's hop into the 3,000 game. So yeah, this is the final game. Uh, I spawned top left on Dark Fantasies. Dark Fantasies was definitely the easiest map for me to push on. A long-range map for Stu, even though it's not the best. Just the, le the least amount of Shellys possible, the least amount of bush campers was just easier for me because dealing with these bush campers or tanks teaming on me was horrendous. In these long range maps, there was very little tanks and very little teamers. See, I see a Daryl, you know, talking about tanks, but he's kind of a free kill on these open maps. So I just dash a bunch of times and end up killing him. Or never mind, he lives on 17 HP. End up spinning with his stew, definitely backs him later. I barely teamed with anyone for the entire game. Didn't really feel like teaming was a nice way to push, so I just... I ended up killing them all for the most part. And as you can see, I have 10 spectators. Never had this many spectators. Eight spectators. Never had these many spectators. Due to the 3000 game being an important game. So yeah, I have a lot more spectators this game. I end up just chill chilling in the mid. Checking some bushes. See a Pam. I think I end up backstabbing the stew here. Yeah, I do. He kind of gets pinched by like all three of us. And he ends up dying. Poor stew. Feel bad. Dashing a bunch of times. Juking all the Pam shots. Gonna kill her. And then I see a Byron, kill him too. And then there's a Poco, so I gotta back up. Don't really wanna get screeching soloed or anything. That's super risky. So I just chill, heal up, stay alive. And then, yeah, it's kind of a free kill too. Just gonna go for him. Hit one more shot, yep, hit him, and nice. And this is already over, basically game's over. So there's no way a three cube Mortis ever kills me in his entire life. But I'm eight cubes and a stew, and I hard counter him already. So yeah, I just end up BMing for like a solid two minutes. So let's just cut the BM and let's just go to the end of the game. I end up BM and the smoke closing in. I end up just killing him pretty easily. Spin a little bit at the end, put the cry stew. And yeah, that's the 3000 game.
It was a crazy game, crazy push. Took like a whole month of pushing, around 10 hours a day. So yeah, if you enjoyed that, please like, please subscribe, please comment, whatever you want. And yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Peace out.